is part 65 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss writing a transact SQL query to list all the tables in a SQL Server database. This is a very common SQL Server interview question. Within SQL Server Management Studio, we can use Object Explorer to list all the tables that belong to a specific database. For example, if we have to find the tables that belong to the sample database, we can simply expand the database within Object Explorer and then expand the tables folder and then you can find the list of tables that belong to the sample database. On the other hand, if I have to write a query to achieve the same, then we can make use of three system views. We can either use sysobjects, sys.tables or information underscore schema.tables views. The sysobjects view is available in SQL Server 2000, 2005 and 2008 whereas these two views are available in SQL Server 2005 and 2008 only. They are not available in SQL Server 2000. Now let's see how to use the sysobjects view to retrieve all the tables that are present in the sample database. Let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. So select star from sysobjects now when I execute this query, I get all the objects that are present in, a, in the SQL Server uh, sample database. You know, a SQL Server can have different types of objects like tables, views, functions, stored procedures. So this view contains all those objects. Now if I just want the tables, then I filter on this X type column. So where X type is equal to U. When I execute this query, notice that I get the three tables that are present in the sample database, TBL customer, depart department, and employee. Now, this X type, you know, what does these codes mean? U means user table. So where do I have this list? Actually, you can visit this MSDN link for all possible X type column values and what they represent. So at this URL, you can see that you know Fn stands for scalar function. So if you want all scalar functions, then you simply you know filter on that. So I set x type as Fn. When I execute that, I get the functions that are available in the sample database. If I want stored procedures, on the other hand, the x type for that is P. So I simply say x type is p execute that i get all the stored procedures similarly if i want just views then i replace that with v and i get views so notice that there's one view view employees and i can see that all right now if i want to know what are the different types of objects that are available in the sample database i can find that out by issuing a distinct query. So select distinct x type from sys objects table. So this is going to tell me the different types of objects that are available in the sample database. So Fn stands for scalar function. So I have scalar functions in this database. IT internal table, so it has got some system tables as well. P stands for procedures, that is stored procedures. PK is a primary key constraint. So these are the different types of objects that are available in the sample database. Alright, now let's see how to use the sys.tables view. You simply say select star from sys.tables. That's going to return all the tables in our sample database. So select star from sys.tables. So we get those three tables. Similarly, if I want views, I can simply say sys.views. And if I want procedures, the stored procedures, I simply say sys.procedures. So I see all the stored procedures within the sample database. Notice that there are around 23 stored procedures. Now let us see how to use this information underscore schema dot tables view. So select star from information underscore schema dot tables is going to give us all the tables as well as views. So if you want just the tables, then filter on the stable type column. Similarly, if you want just the views, I can use information underscore schema dot views. Look at that, I get only that view which is available in the sample database, view employees. 
Now, if I want stored procedures, look at that. I don't have procedures. Instead, it's called routines. So when I execute routines, you know, select stuff from information schema dot routines. Notice that I get 24. So it's not only stored procedures. It's also going to return. Look at that routine type functions as well. So if you want just the stored procedures, then probably filter on this column right here. All right. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.